The electric fence? fence is off, so don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, there's an electric <laughs> you fence. You just stepped over it. <laughs> Jeff, thank you for welcoming us to your, is this a goat farm? What would uh, you call it? Pretty this? much a goat hobby farm. Goat hobby right. farm. We're and just hobbyers. What, I'm, I'm holding this amazing baby goat. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is a blue-eyed Nigerian dwarf male. How many goats do you have here at one uh, time? I think at one time, maximum, we've had 48. 48. And right now, we're about 18. Okay, and then what do you do on this hobby farm, primarily with your goats? Milking the goats for cheese. Uh, you can also make soap and uh, butter out of goat's milk. Soap and they are and butter and cheese? Absolutely. You wouldn't think they're all the same, but they are. <laughs> Those are actually three of my very favorite things, and I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, good deal. Right, Chandler? Mommy likes butter, mm -hmm. mommy likes soap, and I like cheese. Talk to me about just how you got into this. Uh, I also want to talk about the fence that we jumped over, which is an electric fence, which mm -hmm. you turned off. Thank yes. you. Thanks yeah, my so pleasure. My that. pleasure. But what is that for? Primarily, the electric fence is to keep predators out, not to keep the goats or the dogs in. If they want to get out, they will get out. Now we've got some, what kind of dogs do we have here? These Tell are again. Great Pyrenees. These are our guard dogs, our working dogs. Their sole purpose of being here is to protect the goats. Uh, back probably about five years ago, one spring, we lost 29 baby goats just like the one you're holding to predators, to coyotes. Mm -hmm. And we did everything we could, try to trap them, we tried to shoot them, but you never know when they may attack. And we were losing goats too fast, we brought in Great Pyrenees, never lost another one. That's Nothing awesome. wants to get in this pen because they're very, very possessive. And when the goats go out to graze, primarily one dog, the female, will go with the herd wherever they're at. The male will go about halfway and lay down. And as the goats graze down the creek, the dogs are going to stay spaced out between them. If one of the dogs bark, the fight's on. I have a new appreciation for goats and these, it's like, it's like falling asleep. Oh, he's just like oh. grinning, he's like. <laughs> yeah, and you can see his blue eyes. It's a baby goat. And goats don't have top front teeth. They just have a real tough gum. Okay. They have bottom teeth, so they can't bite you. But the reason they don't have top front teeth is they're foragers. They eat leaves. That's their primary food that they like is leaves. So they can grip the limb, pull the leaves off of it, and not destroy the limb. The limb will relieve itself because they didn't bite it off. If they had teeth on top, they could actually bite the limb off. We've seen the goats, and now it's time to make some cheese. Robin, you are going to tell me how to make goat cheese, and you're claiming it's easy. It's, it's so easy, Happy. Really, the easiest process, the reason people don't do it is because they don't know how to do it. And the key to making cheese, you have to pasteurize it. So you put it in the refrigerator, you milk your goats, you strain it, you put it in the refrigerator, you knead it, let it sit all night. Then the next thing you do, you take your your milk, you pour it into the pot. We're going to pour it here. You want it to get to 180 degrees and you want to do it slowly. It takes about 15 minutes to make that happen. Do you see how you have a film on top? That's where at the point that you know that it's time to add your apple cider vinegar. This will separate the curd and whey, really. Curd and so, whey. Okay. So once we start this process. How, how much apple cider vinegar are you it, You're in? just going to gauge it. I'm going to let you do this. Okay. All right. So just lightly, you cannot use stainless steel. You have to use a plastic or a wooden. So just start start spooning it. Am I digging deep or am I just, just skimming the top? You're skimming, you're just going about halfway and just start moving it. <gasps> so, yeah. all right. The paper's so I'm gonna continue to add that and you're gonna start seeing a separation. See right here, happy with that? You just wanna move that Break around that so it breaks into smaller pieces. Okay, now from here we're really done. Okay. okay, so everything on top is the curds, the whey will be left. So what now from here, what you want to do is just let it sit for a few hours. Then you're going to strain it. We would normally take the strainer and right here, Happy, I did this last night. You take cheesecloth, you strain it, and you're going to hang it above your um, sink or anywhere that you want it to drip all night. And let's just go ahead and... So sit a few hours, strain it, whatever is left in the strainer goes in that cheesecloth. That's correct. And then how long does that sit? Well, this is set all night. So just whenever you have time. And this is what, the curd? Or the this is the curd, right? This is the process of what you see floating on top. So. <gasps> yes. All right. So that's, that's your cheese, your goat cheese. And normally we'd just put it in something, see? And then we break it up. Yeah. And I like to use Italian seasoning right here. Okay. Easy of some sort, and you don't want to add any seasoning during the process, but afterwards you're just going to sprinkle it, and how easy was that? 
We just made cheese? We did. <laughs> that is amazing. Can we try some? Absolutely, please. All right. I don't know if you know this about me, but I really like cheese. Well, we have a lot of it. <laughs> um, I took one that we did earlier, and mm -hmm. you know when you go to the grocery store and you yeah. buy a, a log? So here we have a, a goat cheese log. So what I'll do here is, these are dried cranberries. Mm -hmm. So we'll put them here. And then what we'll do is we'll start rolling the log. Delicious. Once you roll it, you're going to want to put it back in the refrigerator to get cold so it gets hard. And then it makes it colored mm -hmm. and has that same effect. Mm -hmm. And oh, then yeah. you can cut it um, when it's all done. And the presentation on it is gorgeous. And it's really a very simple process. It's, uh, I think the reason most people don't make goat cheese is just because they don't know how. I was intimidated the first time, and after that, mm -hmm. it's been easy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This was easy and fun. Thank you, Happy.